students welcome to the module 3 of the subject applications of computer in pharmacy so this is unit 3 and this particular chapter whose title is applications of computer in pharmacy we shall be studying the following content first we shall talk about the drug information storage and retrieval followed by pharmacokinetics drug design, mathematical modeling in drug design, under computational approaches, we have to study about the hospital and clinical pharmacy, the electronic prescribing and discharge system, the barcode medicine identification system, the automated dispensing of the drugs, the mobile technology, adherence monitoring, the diagnostic system, followed by patient monitoring system and the importance of all such functions in pharmacy. So before moving in detail, another important application of computer in pharmacy involves electronic prescribing and discharge system. This system actually automates the prescription, the supply and administration of medicines in hospital. This not only uh, smoothen the process but also is found to reduce the errors which are related to medication and this ultimately have a very good effect or impact on the safety of the patients so the effect actually is dependent on the system design how we are designing that particular system and not only designing but implementation is also important so if we talk about electronic prescribing or e-prescribing system, this is computer based electronic generation, transmission and filling of a medical prescription, taking the place of paper and faxed prescriptions. You might have observed this system in good hospitals these days. So this e-prescription actually allows the physician, the pharmacist, the nurse practitioner or the physician which is assistant to electronically transmit a new prescription or renewal authorization to a community or mail order pharmacy. So it outlines the ability to send error free, accurate and understandable prescription electronically from the healthcare provider to the pharmacy. So this e-prescribing is meant to reduce the risk which is actually associated in the traditional system of pharmacy. So, uh, actually this system was introduced in United States in early 90s but still relatively few hospitals in the UK with the uh, whole hospital in European system. The, the technology fund announced by the government in May 2013 will hopefully increase this electronic prescription system in the hospital. So, in this process the provider can electronically send an accurate and error-free prescription directly to the pharmacy information system from the point of care. So e-prescribing greatly improves the safety of the patient and in future uh, it will be the standard system of submission of new prescription from pres prescriber to the pharmacy. So this one is actually the basic component of the electronic prescription system are the prescriber, the transaction hub, the pharmacy with the implemented electronic prescribing software and the pharmacy benefit manager. So the prescriber here is the physician or healthcare staff who sign into the system through verification process uh, so as to authenticate uh, his or her identity. So the prescriber searches through the database of patient record by using specific uh, information about the patient like what is his name, first name, last name, what was the date of birth, accordingly the age, the person belongs to which address, like that. So after accessing that patient file correctly, the prescriber reviews the current medical information and the transaction hub provide the common link between all the people like prescriber, the pharmacy benefit manager and the pharmacy. 
so this transaction hub stores and maintain a master patient index so that their medical information can be quickly assessed and accordingly suitable action has to be taken care of so the system if such implemented throughout will definitely be a boom in the healthcare system and there will be error free prescription hope that will be implemented throughout in india too soon these are a few books that i have referred for preparing this content for you thank you for your patient listening